Hi, I'm Apollo Steria, and I'm an actress working in the entertainment industry in Los Angeles, California. I am also a disclosure activist, and I have been a musician for many years for a multi-award winning band, The Siren, which kind of ended with COVID. And I'm also an artist of many forms. I recently started my own talk show and I am also on many other talk shows and speak at conferences nationwide. Um, I'm also a part of the Free and Equal Elections Committee, the Free and Equal Elections Foundation, which uh, their goal is to get rid of the two-party system and make it so that every party runs on an equal platform. Uh, so I'm very involved in things politically, um, but I'm also you know, my main career is being an artist, working in the entertainment industry in Hollywood. I decided to make this video today because I am dealing with a lot of situations in Hollywood, which is making me want to quit the entertainment industry or just quit being in Hollywood in general. And it's really sad. And, you know, I really just wanted to express how I feel about these certain situations I'm dealing with in Hollywood because I know I'm not the only one here. I know there are more of you out there who are seeing what's going on and realizing that it is not right. And probably people who wish they could say something that are working in, you know, all different levels of the industry and feel like they can't say anything. So... I want to make this video today to express the way I feel about what I have been seeing and you know the way that I feel the industry has really degraded over recent years. Um, before I say that, before I get into all this, I would first like to say that I feel that Hollywood is so important for so many different reasons. Um, you know, Hollywood is for the storytellers and the pioneers and, you know, really the people that are the, the leaders in thought, thought leaders in society. For over a hundred years, a hundred years, we have all been meeting here and, you know, really expressing true individuality and creative freedom and that's what Hollywood stands for and that's what it was always supposed to be that's what has been before until recent years and you know the agendas that have been playing out have really become something that has destroyed the industry in my opinion and before I get into that first I want to say that you know, it doesn't begin with all of this, the agendas, what's going on politically, and the way everything has unraveled over the past year. Um, it started It started with the Me Too movement, and what the Me Too movement, in my opinion, really covered up for, which was child human trafficking and pedophilia in the entertainment industry. Um, I know a lot of people are aware of this. Most people in the industry are aware of this because you've probably dealt with it. I've dealt with situations when I was younger coming up in entertainment where I could have easily, there were many situations where I could have been human trafficked and, you know, horrible things were very close to happening to me or did. 
and I think everyone in the entertainment industry has these kind of stories and obviously it's you know it's unfortunate that it's something that comes with the industry and if you are not aware of this if you're listening to this and you're not aware of these things happening in the industry there are two amazing films that you can look at one is The Rape of Two Quarries by Corey Feldman and the other is An Open Secret um, which talks about some of the kids that some child actors that were part of different productions growing up uh, with Disney I believe maybe Nickelodeon so I really encourage you to check those out if you are not aware of these things I'm talking about um, but all of that aside besides all of that and the issues that are going on with all of that what I'm really addressing today is what has been going on politically in Hollywood and you know this is something that's kind of gradually progressed over probably the past 10 years or so but you know like i said earlier hollywood has been the place for original creative freedom for many years i mean just look at it in the in the 40s the 30s even back during silent films in the 70s everything was all about rock and roll 60s 70s rock and roll tearing down the old system and rebuilding it new and what happened to that when did we become when did hollywood become not about being the pioneer of society and more about telling its audience to follow their agendas when did it become this way and let me ask you this if you are someone working in the entertainment industry do you really feel this is what your audience wants to hear? Do you really feel your audience wants agendas shoved down their throats instead of real, true creative freedom and creative expression by real, true artists and really amazing directors and producers and entertainers that are thought leaders in society? When did it become the way that it is now, where you can't even sit there and think of a single icon that means anything to society right now in the entertainment industry. I'm sorry, but can you think of a single one? I mean, think of all these people in the past, these amazing icons in the past. How did it become what it is now? How did the industry become what it is now? The people that our supposed icons are going on stage and just having the most shock value they possibly can just for the ratings or they're accepting awards and giving speeches about the agendas that they are told to express. When did it become that way? The Hollywood I remember, the real Hollywood that people love that was pro-American, pro-freedom, was about these artists coming forward and expressing their thoughts as to what the true movements were in society, what was truly important to them, and you know, what real creative freedom was, and real pro-American values. And all it is done is become this shock value thing where people you know, we just have entertainers doing strip shows on stage with horrible music and then they're the ones that get the Grammys. How does that happen? And I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, why is this happening? And what is the reason behind it? I mean, it's really unfortunate because I feel that the market in Hollywood is missing over half of its audience. Let me just say this, if you are a director, a producer, uh, you know, talent, anyone that's working casting, anyone that's working at any level of the industry right now, or maybe you work for a record label, uh, I'm not excluding that, uh, do you really feel that what is being pushed out to the masses right now through entertainment is actually 
benefiting society or actually entertaining most of society um because you know i really feel that you are missing over half of your market there are over half of the population of the united states who wants to hear you know songs and you know music and see movies that aren't about being agendas shoved down their throats and that's all it is anymore and it's horrible i haven't seen a single comedy show that i have actually laughed at recently it's all about these agendas and you know i consider myself to not be a part of any political party but when it's only focused on one certain political party and their agendas and that's all that's being shoved to the masses it starts to feel a little bit like brainwashing. And, you know, who are the true icons anymore? I got into this a little bit ago and I want to bring it up again, but who are the true icons anymore? I can't think of a single Hollywood celebrity who is not just a propaganda puppet, just spewing propaganda and that's all they're there for. It's just all agendas. And it's getting really hard to watch. And I think a lot of people agree with me and a lot of people feel like they have to be quiet about it. They feel like they can't say anything and that it is just what it is. Um, you know, a lot of people are aware of, you know, different agendas that are happening politically in Hollywood um, in regards to three letter agencies, different programs that have happened since the late 30s, early 40s in the entertainment industry. And that's one whole aspect in itself. But just in general, just general entertainment and the way the industry is only focusing on one political party and, you know, ex excluding over half of the masses, over half of the nationwide audience, it's just becoming kind of a problem. And you know, my question to you, if you are part of the entertainment industry, if you are working as a director, producer, writer, any of these kind of people, where do you see this going in the future? If it keeps going this way, don't you think that most of this, your audience is not going to want to take this anymore? And don't you think there will be a split in Hollywood? And, you know, this is something that has been discussed with me and many colleagues and many people I know that are getting tired of it in the entertainment industry. And they are splitting off and making their own platforms. And, you know, this is something that's happening, but why should it be happening? Why do people feel like they need to move to other platforms and everything? Because, you know, the, the mainstream is just so horrible. I mean, the only thing that's out right now that anyone even seems to watch are these horrible reality shows and no one even hardly watches those anymore. All of the ratings are going down. I mean, and I'm not just ragging on Hollywood. Like I said, I feel like Hollywood is very important. I feel like it's an amazing place. And I've been told by many people that I should just leave it and just do what I do in my other forms of art. But I don't want to do that. I, I feel like Hollywood can be saved. Quite honestly, I really feel that way. And I think that, you know, certain people that are in the industry that are a part of these agendas and that are a part of these programs aren't looking at the possibility that they could be held accountable for their actions in the future. So I just want to remind you to Think about what happened during the Red Scare in Hollywood with communism and think about what has happened in the past when propaganda was force fed to any civilization. You know, think about what happened during World War II. Think about what happened back then in Germany. Think about that. Just think about that for a minute. And, you know, whether or not you realize that you're choosing to be on a certain side of history and what side of history do you want to be on? Do you realize that if you propagate these agendas 
you may at some point be held accountable for your actions by all of society. And people will really look at this. And it's happened before. Like I said, it's happened before with the Red Scare. And it can happen again. So, you know, we got to keep this in mind. If you're in the entertainment industry, please, please keep this in mind. Because it's, it's just... It's getting hard to deal with personally as an actor, as an entertainer in the industry who has been working in the industry for many years. It's getting hard for me to go on set and have to, you know, I'm not going to mention any productions here, but the reason I am doing this video is because uh, a production I worked with a couple years previously, which was very major, a very major TV show project, asked me to come on set again. Um, they asked me, like I started going through the uh, casting process and was basically booked to go on the show. And then I'm told that I need to show proof of a vaccine to be able to go on set. And their exact words were, I can either A, show proof of a vaccine uh, passport, uh, proof of vaccines with either the ones with the booster shots or um, Johnson Johnson, or the other option was I can choose to uh, opt out due to my deeply held religious beliefs. And I just wanna say that I do have deeply held beliefs and concerns in regards for the vaccine mandate. I, I do, I really honestly do. And so, you know, today when I was asked to COVID test, which obviously they're asking everyone to COVID test before they go on set multiple times. And even though we've been COVID tested many times when we show up on set, we have to have our mask on the whole time, take it on and off between Things. Now, on top of it, they're telling us that we have to be vaccinated to be on set. Why is that if we're already being tested multiple times, why would the job require that when they still require us to be tested usually like three to five times before one day of work? I just, I, I just, first of all, I just don't understand how that makes sense. And second of all, uh, when I said yes, that I was, I did uh, have one of those two options that they had given me. And that for me would be regarding deeply held religious beliefs exempting me from vaccines. Um, I was told, uh, so they messaged me back and they, they called me and they told me while I was on my way to go do the COVID test that I had to either show proof of it or, um, or basically that I had to fill out a form showing proof of my COVID vaccine passports. Um, and they didn't even mention the second option, which the casting agency has sent to everyone. That is a very, um, basically a rule. I don't know if it's like a law in the state right now but basically they said either you have the option of showing proof of vaccine or showing proof or basically uh, opting out due to religious deeply held religious beliefs and you know i went to fill out the form that they sent me before going to do my covid test to do my fitting for this show i was supposed to work on for eight to eleven days and when I pull up the form, nowhere on the form does it say there's an option for me, for anyone that has deeply held religious beliefs to opt out. So I call the production and I tell them, hey, you know, I was told that if I want to be on the set, I could, uh, you know, show that I'm opting out of the vaccine mandate for the set because of my deeply held religious beliefs. And they basically told me they didn't know what to do about it, that they were going to talk to HR, and 
you know, that basically it was a whole mess for them. And I'm just thinking, well, why did you say that it is okay? Why did my casting agency say that these are my two options? Now, if you're wondering what my religious, my deeply held religious background is, I did grow up Christian. Um, I went to, you know, vacation Bible school all growing up, youth groups. I was at church every Sunday and, you know, I've been baptized. I don't know how much else, what other ways I can show proof of my background as being religious. But, you know, this was something for me, uh, just my whole life, I have never done the whole vaccine thing. And most people that are Christian feel that way because of the aborted fetal cells that are in vaccines. And also, you know, just a list of many different uh, things that are in vaccines that have to do with, you know, human DNA. And I, there's a whole list and I can read it right now. I have it with me. But before I get into that, first, I want to say that, you know, if you know me personally, you know, I'm kind of a wild individual. I wouldn't consider myself a very dogmatic Christian type person. Um, I've studied all religions and I believe that there's truth in basically all religions in regards to God being a one source energy, an energetic collective that we are all a part of. And I think there are rivers of light, as I like to say, or rivers of truth and all these different ways of looking at God or your higher power or the emanations of God, gods and goddesses, any way you want to look at it. And, you know, I consider myself a bit of a theologist and I have studied all religions. I've even started practicing meditating for Falun Gong and, um, you know, I've done energy work all growing up. I have been certified with different energy healing methods. And, you know, for someone like me who you know, has stopped smoking, basically stopped drinking for the most part, and, you know, has refused to really put toxins in their bodies. Taking a vaccine is just something that goes completely against my entire belief system. And so I looked online and I found these different letters that you can send to your employer and so i'm looking through these different letters and i kind of formed my own letter and so i sent this letter to my production office uh for this show and who knows what will happen with it i probably won't get booked i doubt i will um as soon as i told them that i wanted to show that I had deeply held religious beliefs. They basically, they just canceled my COVID test and they told me basically don't worry about coming in. Even though it was an option. I mean, they didn't basically, they didn't tell me, oh, you're, you're never going to get in because of this. They basically just told me, oh, we got to work this out. And, you know, it made it sound like it's a whole mess for them, basically. Even though it clearly stated in my casting uh, agency email, the casting agency's email, that I had this option, but obviously it doesn't look like I do have the option. But you know, since the form they sent me did not have the option, I sent them this email, which I'm going to read to you right now. Dear production person, I was informed by a casting company that I'm a part of that I had two options regarding a vaccine mandated production. A, to show proof of vaccination, or B, to inform the production of my vaccine exemption due to religious reasons. I was not given the option to choose option B in the form sent to me by production, so I will send my exemption letter to you for the production to review. I hereby assert my right to a religious exemption from vaccination. I'm a Christian who believes in the Bible and including the teachings in the New Testament. I have a Christian worldview, and this perspective recognizes that faith and conscience compel an individual to submit 
to the proper jurisdiction within the rule of law, in this case, divine law. I'm objecting to vaccines because I believe in and follow God and the principles laid out in the word. And I have a deeply held belief that vaccines violate them. I believe my body is a temple for the Holy Spirit. Specifically, the New Testament teaches that know ye not that ye are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are what? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which you have of God and you are not your own. 1 Corinthians 3, 16 to 17. Accordingly, I believe to my Christian faith that my body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. It is a God-given responsibility and a requirement for me to protect the physical integrity of my body against unclean food and injections. Vaccines contain neurotoxins, hazardous substances, attenuated viruses, animal parts, foreign DNA, albumin from human blood, carcinogens, and chemical waste that are proven to be harmful to the human body. And below this, I, um, I added a link that is straight to the CDC website listing all these ingredients, which I just listed. So no, none of that is false. It is all 100% facts. And it is on the link that I sent them below that. Um, and I continue. Not only the additives in vaccines consider contaminants from a biblical standpoint, the contaminants themselves are often contaminated. And there I list proof of where vaccines have been contaminated. And, uh, you know, that's a whole wormhole on its own. And this is by real factual government website. Um, and I continue. At least 27 vaccines contain cells, cellular debris, protein, and DNA. Please see. And again, I list the CDC.gov link of what is actually in their vaccines that they have listed on their site. So this is all true. And um, please see, you know, here's the link from aborted babies, including but not limited to adenovirus, polio, DTaP, polio, HIV combo, Hep A, Hep A, Hep B combo, MMR, MMRB, ProQuad, rabies, varicella, shingles, vaccines, Ebola, tuberculosis, malaria, and influenza. And, you know, again, I provided a link below. The broad prohibition against consuming anything that might defile the body and hence the conscience is stated again in 1 Corinthians. Howbeit there is not in every man that knowledge, for some with a conscience of the idol unto this hour eat is as a thing offered unto an idol, and their conscience being weak is defiled. Again in 2 Corinthians 7.1, there is this admonition against defiling the flesh and the spirit. Having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. More broadly, the New Testament requires of Christians that we render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's and to God the things that are God's. Mark twelve seventeen. When it comes to consuming things in our own bodies, as opposed to make payments to government, compliance with God's law is required. The mandated vaccine, with its numerous additives and its me mechanism for altering my body, is the equivalent of a prohibited unclean food that causes harm to my conscience. Vaccines to me are unclean, and I believe and follow God and the principles laid out in the word, and I have a deeply held belief that vaccines violate them. Uh, I make this request for the glory of God and consistent with my faith. Thank you for your consideration of it. Respectfully, yours truly. So in here, I did actually print out the list of all the ingredients, and this is from the CDC website. I can't go through all these here. 
But, you know, this I sent to them. And obviously it lists everything I mentioned and it's from the CDC's official website. <sighs> so, you know, unfortunately it looks like I'm not going to be casted for this show. And really this isn't the reason why I'm making this video. The reason I'm making this video is because this is something I've been thinking about and dealing with for a long time. And for someone who has spent their entire lives working to build their career in the entertainment industry for many years, going through many trials and tribulations, and really paying their dues, <laughs> this has been really hard to deal with. And the fact that I was not respected for my religious values is, I believe, against the law and you know obviously they say the casting agencies are like okay this is an option but it's not really an option it's looking like so i just want to know you know are any of else of you out there are there any of you out there dealing with this is it just me um and you know this is just a message from me to hollywood in general because i just don't want to see the industry keep going the way that it's going I think it's sad and I think that the original way Hollywood was was really amazing and now unfortunately it's just become this propaganda and I think a lot of people are tired of it and you know I just want to, I'm just giving this message to everyone that works in the industry to really sit there and think about what you're a part of right now, if you have any sort of major influence in the industry, really sit there and look at these agendas that are being pushed right now and why. Since when did entertainers become the types to tell everyone to sit down and shut up and listen to the media and the government and do whatever they say? Since when did that happen? You know, I thought part of being American was, and part of Hollywood is supposed to be like the epicenter of America. I mean, Hollywood is what everyone in the outside world, everyone in other countries and foreign nations look at Hollywood as representing America. And how are we representing America if we are not representing what it means to have true freedom? And the true freedoms supposedly that are being expressed right now are just completely you know defiled and just devalued and not what it truly means to be free and i think it's important for people like me who have these certain values to stay in the entertainment industry and not leave and move to other platforms because I think it's important that, you know, Hollywood is saved, like I said earlier, and I know that sounds crazy. And I'm not saying I'm a perfect person or anything, and you know, I know I just said all this stuff about my religious beliefs and values, but I've never been a perfect person. I don't think anyone is. Um, I've come to my own realizations over the past years and I've made a lot of changes in my own life and um you know I just I just really feel that you know the industry is just progressively getting worse and worse and progressively becoming more agenda and propaganda driven and I feel that the agendas and propaganda being expressed is extremely dangerous and does not befit true American values and it's hard to watch and I, I feel, you know, again, like I said earlier, I feel that a lot of entertainers and people working in the industry in Hollywood don't realize that they're kind of in this bubble of like this sort of, <laughs> you know, thought tank where it's like, you know, there's these certain things that are being expressed and it's just being passed around the industry and people don't realize what the whole outside world the way the whole outside world is seeing this 
and you know I'm not sure people do realize the agendas they're a part of and you know the way our government has systematically taken away our freedoms over the past year or four years maybe maybe more than that but you know it's definitely happening and maybe a lot of these people in the industry do realize this and they're just a part of some agenda and that's unfortunate but i just want to say that i would love to see a change in hollywood and i hope there are many people out there who agree with me and to please share my message because i just want to express my feelings about what i'm experiencing as an artist and i really hope that some changes are made soon and that the industry goes back to being a pioneer in the human thought movement um, where a place where the true storytellers can gather and a place where people can come that are artistic and want to come and express their true religious freedom and that's why I'm here and that's why I love Hollywood and that's why I want it to remain real Hollywood and not the Hollywood it is unfortunately becoming.